Good Saturday morning, everyone. Carrie's out for a little bit. She, uh, has been going in and out of the jungle. So I haven't let her out for a while. She's sticking close. <laughs> she, it's like she's starting all over again. She's a little scared. And Eli's been, uh, looking after her. She tried to go up by the road and Eli ran and rounded her up and ran her back here. Got her and ran her back here up onto the porch. It was the cutest thing. But yeah, it's nice out. It's 70 something. The breeze feels good. It's going to get up to another hot one, like 80 or. Actually, I think it got up to 90 yesterday. It was hot. Son Jed came and took me to. It's called Reinersville. It's uh, going to. Uh, towards Marietta and you go uh, Caldwell exit but you turn instead of turning left to go to Caldwell Ohio you turn right and it's in a little town past Sharon and uh, they have a giant flea market every Memorial weekend and it's oh my gosh it's miles and miles of uh, the parking lots in the grass fields always full so you park along the side of the road it's like miles and miles. Oh, there's Eli. See, he's big brother's always looking out. <laughs> but they have, oh my gosh, they have tools, they have anything you want. They have animals for sale. Chickens, rabbits, dogs. It was, it was a good day. A lot of walking. We, we were there for hours. Jed found a, a brand new motorcycle tire. I think he paid 100 for it. I think they run for 200 and then he picked up a couple of tools that uh, he didn't have. He kept saying, I have all these tools. I like I, I have like doubles of all these tools. <laughs> but once in a while he'd find one, oh, I don't have that one. <laughs> They're having fun, kitty cats. Yeah, they had food. We had a, a bison burger, had a, a walking taco where they take the Dorito bag and they fill it full of meat and sour cream and salsa. And that was good. The bison burger was excellent. Yeah, he got a little, a, a bunch of little uh, carburetors for bikes, for motorcycles. He got this, uh, oh, uh, snap on? It was a snap-on. Anyways, it's like a pry bar. He got it for 50 cents, and all he has to do is clean it up, and then he, he'll get a brand new one. <laughs> and the guy that sold it told him was telling him about it. Like, like he didn't know you could do that. Yeah, he got something else. Uh, oh, soldering. Because uh, he welds things. Uh, little soldering tab things. I don't know the technical name for him, but it was a good day. A good, good day to get out. Yeah, he surprised me. So just called around nine in the morning. So what are you, what are you doing? So I'm just right now. I'm just feeding the cats. And so what are you doing? He said, well, I'm getting ready to go to Ryersville. You want to ride along with me? And I was like, sure. So. I picked up a couple shopping bags because uh, I use these big shopping bags to go to Aldi's with, and mine are like we're getting torn on the bottom. I still have the one Nino made for me. I use it too. It, I don't think it'll ever uh, fall apart. <laughs> it's so well made. But yeah, I picked up two of those bags, and that's all I needed. But it was a good day. A lot of good exercise walking and. Good company and good food. And it was nice. I said Jeb picked up a few things, and then everybody talks to you. <laughs> they're just they're strangers, but they still talk to you. So that was nice. Tell stories. Yeah, they had roosters. They had chickens. They had bunny rabbits. Dogs. All kinds of animals. Oh, birds. They had uh, some parakeets. And then anything under the sun, they had it. Um, I don't know how much the vendors, I should have asked, them one, asked one of them that. 
If you don't mind me asking, how much do you have to pay to set up here? And do you do well? I think a lot of them travel and move move around to different uh, outdoor flea markets like that. But it's the biggest one around here. And it's always on Memorial Weekend. So I had a good day yesterday. Yeah. But boy, I was tired all that walking. Because I hadn't been walking other than mowing. Yeah, he saw an anvil too, but the guy wanted 400 bucks for it. A big anvil, because he, uh, Jed makes his own knives. He's a jack of all trades. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to show you guys the kitties sitting out here. It's early. I haven't made my coffee yet. Yeah, but I wanted to show you how the jungle is. Got it zoomed in. How the jungle is all grown up. Can't even see through there now. So I can't see when they're coming back home, when they're walking across the log. <laughs> but yeah, it's all, I mean, it's nice for a privacy fence. I kind of hope he leaves it when he puts some new houses up. But I doubt he will. It would be nice though. But then they'd have to trim on their side. I don't really trim on my side. I just run over the new, the new ones coming up. Like there's one right down there. Oh, can you see it? See that one right there? I'll run it over with the lawnmower. I should just pull it up by the root. Uh, I usually just get them when I mow. Yeah, my white roses are blooming. I cleaned out the flower bed the other day. My white roses are blooming, and they smell like candy. They smell so good. And a little bush on the other side of those irises, the red one, it's not doing so hot. I think the irises are probably shading them, shading it. But I took those irises from the other side of the metal building because they, between the two lilacs, they weren't getting any sun, they weren't growing. So I took them and planted them in the flower garden and now they're like overtaking the flower garden. <laughs> but they're beautiful. They don't last long, but they're, they sure are pretty when they're blooming. But yeah, my white rose smells so good. That guy, and those guys, red roses over here are blooming. He's doing a ghost haunt tonight. He doesn't announce where he's at until he's there, but him and his new girlfriend, he has a new girlfriend, they're gonna do a ghost haunt tonight. So that'll be cool. I don't know, I'll get to watch it. I might have to watch it on replay because going to uh, Jed's for Riley's 11th birthday party. So that'll be nice. That's at 2 o'clock. <clears throat> I don't know when I'll be back. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been mowing the bank. Like, I mow it down to there. You can see where the, the weeds are tall right there. I mow it that far. But I just, I keep saying it. I need to get a weed eater. Well, Jed said Landon could come over and weed eat. But... Landon went to Hilton Head Island with his friends, so he's he's in Hilton Head Island right now, South Carolina. And then when they go to Tennessee in July, they're they're taking his friend Gaston with with them. That's who he went with. So I thought, that's nice, because Landon got to go with them, and now he'll get to go on their vacation in July. I like those little yellow. Buttercups. Buttercup, buttercup. <laughs> Those are cute. But yeah, I need a mow again. Every week. But I don't think I'm going to get that done till Sunday. I was going to do it yesterday, but... I'm glad I went to Runnersville instead, because that was a good time with Jed. So it'll get done. It'll get done Sunday. It's wet right now, so by the time it dries out, I'll be getting ready to leave. But it always gets done. 
my rose of Sharon, I should have trimmed it more, but I was up on that ladder and the ladder fell. It's another thing I need. Jed's got one of them pole extenders where he's uh, saw his trimmer. And he said Landon could come do that too. But like I said, he's gone for a week. And school just got out. Last day, last day was uh, yesterday. Oh, if you get too much sleep, you're tired. You don't get enough sleep, you're tired. You can't win for losing. So I got plenty of freaking sleep. I think I went to bed like 10.30 last night. I slept in till 9. Yeah, 9. It's probably around 10 now, but. So I got plenty of sleep, I'm still yawning. Hey, right, I'm gonna get off here. Um, love you guys, and I'll try to go live soon. But there was no reception over there. I could have recorded, I didn't think of it. I should have. My brain's not braining, but yeah, I should have recorded some of the things they had there for sale. I said, anything under the sun, anything you would want or need, it was there. And it's all weekend long, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So everyone have a, a marvelous Memorial weekend. And remember, uh, give thanks to our troops because that's what it's all about. And shoot, I forgot to put my flag out. I just can't think. I put my flag out every year. Memorial weekend. I don't like to leave it out. I because I don't have no light to the, to shine on it, and plus I don't want it to get all tattered and torn. So I put it out and I take it back in. I put it out for the Fourth of July. But I'll have to get that out there. Normally it would have been out days ago. But not that's normal now. So I love you guys. I'm going to get off of here. Bye for now.